fuck do I take myself for? A fashion influencer? Apparently so. Hi, so today we're in a slightly different spot than usual because firstly, I need to have more space to show you the full outfits I'm gonna show you today, but also it's a little bit more aesthetic. <laughs> so anyways, I like fashion and I obviously love Thai dramas. So I really wanted to explore a theme which I haven't talked about on this channel, which is costume design. There's rarely an outstanding costume design work for Thai dramas, since most of them take place in high school or university and all the characters are in school uniforms. But when the costume design is good, well, it gives me the characters I'm gonna be taking inspiration from today. And also, despite this video being called I Dress Like Thai Dramas Character for a Week, it is in fact filmed all on the same day because I do not go out every day of the week. And also, who has time to film themselves every day of the week too? Not me, bitch. So yeah, I hope you're not too disappointed and let's go. <laughs> Let's start with my baby and frankly my main fashion inspiration in life, Kai Konpon. Kai basically has the same exact style as of Jompol, who's also my main fashion icon in life, so you know, we're truly killing two birds with one stone today. I would define Kai's style as effortlessly cool. He doesn't really wear crazy statement pieces super often and plays more with the shapes of his garments. He exclusively wears straight leg jeans, flat white sneakers and oversized t-shirts tucked into his pants. Kai is also a huge fan of colorful jackets and crossbody mini bags. And I'm now realizing that my style from the time Theory of Love Air to about a few months ago was basically Kai Konpo inspired all the time. <laughs> Anyways, for this outfit, I've already worn it on TikTok, but it's just too good for me to not feature it in today's video. This outfit exists purely because I have a very similar red jacket to the one Kai wears on the show, and I feel it completely encompasses his style. So first on top, I should probably wear an oversized t-shirt, but I can't pass up the opportunity to wear a t-shirt with a movie reference, because I'm sure Kai would love to wear one, especially since he's not against a good graphic t-shirt. For the pants, I'm choosing this pair of straight leg jeans, which looks very similar to the ones Kai wears on the show, which is not too baggy, but still a bit loose in the legs. And of course, with the bisexual cuff at the bottom. For the shoes, I don't have flat sneakers, except for these Converse that don't really go with the outfit, or these colorful Nikes, which don't fit either. So allow me to use one of my chunkier pairs, because chunky sneakers are thick girls, best friend. And I'm also gonna wear socks with a little red heart on them. <laughs> I'll be wearing this black crossbody bag, which I bought exclusively because it reminded me of Of Jumbo. And then I'll put the red jacket on top. And here it is. Very simple and casual, but the pop of color with the jacket really adds something as opposed to a simple denim jacket, which Kai is not immune to either, by the way. I like it a lot, and even though I don't quite dress like this anymore, I love the timeless and genderless feel to this outfit. And I can still see myself of wearing it at any age, any year from now. Now let's hop on to my other style icon, Simon. I'm so glad the underside of my hair is green while filming this video because you do not understand, I'm obsessed with anything this character does. So yeah, Simon is very much a baggy jeans kind of guy, though he also wears skinny jeans on occasions. But yeah, oversized fits are his thing with, as I said, as much color as possible. Mismatched outfits are absolutely not scary to him. He's also seen wearing a choker, which is the oddest thing ever, a beanie, and also colorful, funnily shaped sunglasses. Graphic tees and color blocks patterns are his thing and let's be honest this is Simon's world and we're just living in it. For the pants I had to go with the baggiest pair I own quite literally because they're one size too big for me. Which side note as a plus size woman having things fit me too big is incredibly satisfying to me. I love these jeans so much but I will belt them to avoid them from literally slipping off of me. Let's already put on the shoes and I have to choose my buffalo sneakers with butterflies on them literally girl these are my favorite pair ever i adore them and also i do think this more feminine style those fit simon who does not give a fuck about gender roles i told you he's 
is an icon, bitch. On top, I admit I hesitated between two shirts because this one is super oversized and graphic. And this one is also quite oversized and tie and dye, which is a pattern that Simon wears on the show. I'll try on both shirts, but for now, I'm gonna go with the graphic one. So I'm gonna tuck this in because I cannot, I'm not sure Simon would approve, but I do not care. I need to tuck this in. Then I'm gonna put on a bedazzled choker like the one that Simon wears on the show. Sadly, I don't have letters written on it, but the idea is there. Then I need to switch to sunglasses, and again, I sadly don't have those weird alien shaped ones Simon has. So I'm gonna take the only colorful sunglasses I have, which are these pink ones. And finally, a beanie, of course. This one is some Troy Sivan merch I bought in 2016 at his Blue Neighborhood concert. Then I added rings and bracelets. Then these earrings, because they're the closest thing I have to Simon's hoops. Hmm. I love this outfit, but I feel like something's missing. I know that Simon is the layering king. And I'd use this yellow cardigan, but it's coming right up and I don't want to use the same item twice in this video. Let me try this. Is this too much? Probably. So anyways, you have four outfits for Simon that are all slight alterations of each other. Tell me your favorite in the comments down below. <laughs> really enjoyed in 46 days, which was globally a really nice show, was the costume design. Honestly, I would have loved to dress like Wiza or use extravagant wardrobes or even Ying Ying style, who is a little more androgynous and streetwear, which resembles more my own personal style. But today I chose Noina because she is way more feminine than I usually am and even that the rest of this video is gonna be. So I wanted to balance it out a little bit. To be honest, I really hesitated between Noina from 46 Days and Duchess from Girl Next Room Richie Rich because they both have a very similar, very girly style, which I kind of stand to be honest. And if this video is popular, I will probably do a part two and I will absolutely include Duchess in it because I'm in love with her monochrome outfits. But yeah, Noina is very cutesy, always wearing a skirt and a cute little top to match. Her style is for me quite easy to replicate, so let's go. So first I'm gonna be wearing the only skirt that would remotely match Noina's style with the pastel blue and the flowers. Though if this was on the show, it would be above the knee length because Madla Pasalan is a short queen, but I am a tall queen. But I really love this skirt and on top I'm gonna be wearing a simple white tee with the only cardigan I own which is this gorgeous yellow color. I really like the combo of yellow and blue so this outfit is perfect, it's so cute. For the shoes she often wears ballet flats which is funny because I would have imagined she would have worn heels to again give her more height. But actually ballet flats go very well with her more childish and innocent personality. But as I haven't worn ballet flats since basically middle school, I do not have those. So I'm gonna be wearing these yellow sandals to reflect the very warm Thai weather and to also stay on the flat team. Um, I am not kidding, my sandals just fucking broke. So change of plan! So I am gonna be wearing these shoes instead because they are really really cute. I can't wear them more than five minutes though because this right here, horrible, literally killed my heel the last time. So if you know how to make them a little more comfortable, please tell me because look at how fucking cute they are. I will also add this pastel blue mini bag because this is so Noina, like she would love this. Look, ah! Why is this my favorite look so far? Why do I look so fucking cute? For the jewelry, I would put on the kind of daintiest little jewelry I own. No, you know what, you know what? For this look, I have to wear my like fucking hard oops. Like I will also wear this like gold double necklace. And the finishing touch is of course this white scrunchie. And we are ready, bitch. <laughs> Because the sun hates me, so I'm gonna be 
honest, I don't think Together's costume design is anything special. But as soon as I saw Tyne in his little preppy outfit, I was kind of intrigued, not gonna lie. I feel like Tyne's style is divided into two different categories. First, we've got basic colorful t-shirts on shorts or jeans, which is a little too basic for me to base a whole outfit around it. But there is also the preppier side of Tyne, which I love, even though it doesn't really fit his character that much in my opinion. The outfits that are burned in my mind are the ones with soft pink sweaters. Frankly, I'm obsessed. I love pink, so it just spoke to me as soon as I saw it. So recreating his iconic look is really easy. All you need is a pink sweater and a white button-up shirt, but I don't have either of that. <laughs> so instead of trying to recreate his look, I'm gonna try to evoke it. <laughs> and I'm gonna work around this pink sweater vest, which screams time for me, even though he never wears sweater vest on the show. He might have been wearing one in Still Together though, I don't remember. So anyways, first the sweater vest is pink, which as we've established is Tyne's color. And secondly, it's knitted, which evokes the sweater he wears on the show. And I'm hating this lighting, so I'm gonna do something for it. Let there be light, bitch. Yeah, we're gonna have to work with this situation. Underneath, I'm gonna be wearing a simple white t-shirt, because again, I don't have a white button-up shirt. And also, I do think it's a fun way to show his more casual style with his more preppy style with the sweater vest. Mine has a design on it, which is not ideal but we're gonna make do with it. Yep, here it is. For the jeans, I'm gonna wear the same ones I wore for Kai's outfit because I feel like time goes for like straight leg jeans in a light wash like these ones. And I'm just gonna unroll the cuffs. And I also wear Kai's bitter sneakers because apparently all bisexual characters dress the same in my books. I will also use a tote bag because I really see Tyne as a tote bag bisexual. And I also have this adorable pink cow print fluffy tote bag which goes with this outfit so well. Like, I know Tyne wouldn't wear this, but I do not care. But if I had to be a little more faithful to Tyne, I would wear this tote bag with a naked lady on it. Because frankly, that's just something that Tyne would wear. Let me get my guitar and the outfit is complete. This is honestly so cute and I really see myself wearing this. back after a well-deserved break and now the sun is fucking on! I know, I know, I'm known for my dislike of my ambulance because of its enormous wasted potential. But if there is one thing I admire about this show, it's most definitely Tantawan's wardrobe. All of her outfits are absolutely popping and her closet is extremely diverse. She wears pants, skirts and dresses, sweaters and crop tops, cardigans and puffy jackets, a lot of cool sunglasses, and of course the iconic hair buns. All of that while being quite colorful as well. Firstly, I have this beautiful red crop top that absolutely makes me think of her. And then for the jeans, you're gonna lose your fucking shit. I recently bought them and I'm obsessed. Look at them! They are so Tenta one and I'm certain she'd love them as much as I do. So already we've got a popping outfit. For the shoes, I'm gonna wear these black boots. I wish I had brown ones, but sadly I don't, so we're gonna make do with that. And then what absolutely makes the outfit is this brown jacket. I look like a sugar mummy and I'm obsessed with that. Then I'm gonna put on a few accessories because even though her accessories don't really shine all that much because of her beautiful outfits, we all know a fashionable queen never under accessorizes. Then I'm gonna put on the mandatory space buns. Honestly, I love this on me, especially with my split hair. Like, girl, this is so cute. And then these black sunglasses. I am obsessed with this look, like, I truly look like a rich fucking bitch. And I love that for me. Honestly, this is absolutely an outfit I see myself wear in my day-to-day -day life. Thank you, Miss Tantawan. <laughs> The Shin outfit has already been seen on TikTok, but I really needed to include it in this video. We all know that Real Be Free has a very 80s and 90s vibes which reflect in the outfits of the characters. I feel like Shin dresses pretty basic, but his outfits still look good. His tops of choice are colorful shirts, he loves wearing jean shorts and converse, he wears glasses of course, but apart from that, that's kinda it. We do see him in pants and tank tops sometimes, or even suits when he 
works for his dad but for me that's not really what encompasses his style so first I have to put of course my glasses back on they're not exactly the same shape as shins but it will do for the pants I do not have jean shorts so I'm gonna wear black sport shorts, which in full disclosure are my pajamas. <laughs> then I'm gonna put my blue Converse on because Shin is truly a walking, talking advertisement for them. And I'm also gonna put these yellow socks because you'll see it will all match in the end. To match the shoes, I'm gonna put on my Amsterdam blue shirt. I do think Shin wouldn't wear such a tight shirt. And frankly, I usually wouldn't either, but this was the biggest size in the Amsterdam store. <laughs> we love inclusivity. And on top, we have to wear this yellow button-up shirt. Shin would wear it closed and not tucked in, so that's what I'm gonna do for like five seconds, even though I genuinely despise these kinds of masculine silhouettes on me. I've also kept my watch because Shin wears one. So this is how Shin wears it. I look like a man and I hate it. So this is tucked in. I still very much don't like it, so I'm gonna wear it the way I like to wear it. And it's that way. Look at how much cuter this is. And the outfit. Is complete. I honestly love this outfit very much. It's very much tourist in a foreign country, but I love it. The shoes and the socks match the top. Fucking iconic. <laughs> Today's video with not an outfit inspired by a character but by Kim Porsche the series and frankly it could be any other gang or mafia related BL shows like Not Me or Golden Blood but my idea for this character is Kim and Kim's very 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 distant cousin who doesn't have a drop of Thai blood and is very much French and Lebanese but who's still related to them somehow because fuck realism I just want to be the badass mafia cousin okay Anyway, so my character would be a brat, bitchy as hell, but also cool as hell. She doesn't tolerate anyone except for her cousins and would truly be the MVP of this series. So for this outfit, I really wanted to mix more classy elements because this woman be rich as fuck with the mafia flair, of course. So for the pants, I've chosen those black pants that kind of flare a little bit at the bottom. Then on top, I'm definitely wearing this beige shirt with like the poofy sleeves because I'm obsessed with this top. And like the sleeves really elevated from being basic and then to elevate the look even further I'm gonna put on this corset Ooh, I'm definitely giving sexy pirate bitch for the shoes I'm definitely wearing the same ones I wore for the Noina outfit because I just love them so much for the accessories I'm wearing my watch with a white band on it as well as the ring that I wear every day of my life I feel like rich people actually tend to not accessorize as much so I just kept the Tentawan necklace and it's gonna be it. I'm putting on a red lipstick because it's a must in the mafia and finally I'm gonna put my leather coat on my shoulders because I don't want to conceal those beautiful sleeves oh my god this is just not me I am a very colorful person but kind of love this I put on sunglasses because again mafia and this white mini bag to carry my gun and that's it the look is complete so that was it for today's video I hope you enjoyed it I genuinely had so much fun analyzing the costume design in some of my favorite shows and I hope it was fun for you as well. Tell me though, should I do a video where I take the same concept as the King Porsche outfit and dress like a brand new character in different series? Tell me if you'd like that. If you like my fashion sense, consider following me on Instagram at Axel Bate. I try to post cute pics on there. And if this video is popular, I will probably do a part two. So don't hesitate to tell me which character style you'd like to see me tackle next. I'll see you next week and have a great day. Oh.